again, everyone. Here we are to assemble yet another quick and easy but oh so pretty Christmas card that you can send to your family and friends. This again was just in a series of quick and easy get them done slimline card classes that we did in November. And I'm going to show you how easy this is. Now, I did, I'm going to move this just because of the glare of the lights you can see. Um, I did do this as a top fold. Some people in class did the uh, shadow of Merry and Christmas. They popped it. I did not. I did pop the um, shadow for the angel, but not the filigree part because I was not getting involved with all those tiny pieces with pop dotting. Um, but I did pop the other. There is nothing else that I used foam tape or pop dots on for this card because I just wanted it to be simple. But again, it's your card. You do what you want with it. That's what makes it yours. This is just a guide or a sample. If you're like me, you'll probably follow it exactly. And if you're like most people in class, you'll put your own spin on it. And we love both. If you do put your own spin on it, or if you make it at all, don't forget to post it in the group though. We'd love to see what you're doing. All right, so quick and easy. Be sure that your fold is facing the right direction. Take your gold panel, glue it right on down. And of course, you know, I always recommend the Barely Arts Dries Clear Glue, or if you have the Arc Glitter Dries Clear Glue at home, use that as well as just at this time of year you cannot get it shipped here successfully in the northeast and i've covered that in many other um, videos and my experience with ignoring their warning so i just heads up don't ignore their warning glue down your next layer now i put this to the side at this point because i don't really know where i'm going to place anything yet so i would take my smaller of the gold and the, and the white, and I would glue those together. Once I have that, I would put that to the side. I would take my angel body and my shadow, and I would glue those together. Now, the way I did it was I used the fine tip. So, you know, over here, and I, I'm not concerned if everything is glued down. I actually like it better when it's not. But if you want to glue everything down, you need that fine tip. Just put some, this part of her body's easy, right? But when you put it on the other spots here, let's put this down. Just dab little dots here and there where you can. Now it's a dry as clear glue, so it's going to dry clear. But on a metallic or a foil paper, you will see it sometimes when it seeps over. All you need to do is a little water and a paper towel lightly rub. Don't rub too hard because you may take the gold off the paper. Um, or a baby wipe. Just a regular baby wipe, same thing. Rub lightly over it and it'll take it right off. So once I have this together and it's drying, I'm gonna set that to the side. And now I'm going to take my Merry and my Christmas. And if I need anything chatted out, then it's chatted out. So like my S and Christmas needs it, but my I is indented already, which is awesome. So you don't forget a pokey tool just in case. Always check your pieces. I'm always famous for checking after and then regretting it. So this again, definitely one of the um, fine tips for the glue that you're using, the dries clear glue. People have asked about using um, a Xyron machine. There's nothing wrong with that. For me personally, I get all those, I, I mean, like loose knots, little glue boogers, you know what I mean? And now I'm constantly like this, trying to get them off. And that you're going to see on here. And baby wipes, that, it's not going to work on this for that Xyron glue if you have the extra. So for me, it's, it's just too labor intensive to go in and, you know, kind of outline, 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 you know, with some kind of old embossing tool or a scoring tool to get that done. So I'm just going to take my chances here and there with the glue because I know that I can get that off later and I don't need a lot. So once I have that, I'm going to set that to the side. And now I'm going to go back to my card. And remember yours would be glued. And the reason I'm not gluing is because we aren't making as many kits anymore because sometimes they're just too labor intensive. This was a cricket image though, the angel. So that was nice and easy. This is a die, I don't remember what company, but this was a die, it came with the shadow. Um, so easy enough though to recreate. 
in design space if you're good at it, I'm not, or with any other supplies that you have or even a stamp. But I know that I'd like mine off center, but I'm not really sure where. I don't know if that's too far. Where am I putting my angel? I think this is why I popped out of the angel. It just looked too flat. It was gold on gold on gold on white on white to me. So when I popped it, to me, it looked better. But I didn't know if this was too far over. Do I want it more? So that's why I say don't glue everything down yet. Glue every, all the pieces together, but then play with where you want it. I did not glue this on right away either. I did this last because this is an easy just line of glue right here. But I did that last because I wanted to be able to put the angel where I wanted it and not have to worry if I had enough room for the Merry Christmas. If I centered the Merry Christmas, which is something we tend to do, then would I have enough room for the angel to overlap if I liked it that way? And as you may see on this card, I did like it that way. I liked it overlapped. Uh, but if I moved it too far this way, then it would overlap too much or too much white space. So it's all depending on you. Once you've got it, though, glue that down. You can pop that this gold layer if you want to. Um, I just didn't because I was adding dimension here. And remember that if you're mailing a card, anything thicker than a quarter of an inch has to go by a package rate and not just a card rate, which a letter rate is expensive enough, right? So we don't want to add extra to your cards. I mistakenly did that one Christmas and I just don't make the mistake trust me it was the most expensive Christmas card ever <laughs> and I had to mail a hundred and oh oh that was quite a time so learn from my mistakes all right so thanks for joining our class this is a great quick and easy card to send to somebody or give to them your co-workers family or otherwise it's pretty and it's not out of a box. You made it yourself. And people are especially loving that since COVID, right? All the handmade stuff. All right. So thanks for supporting our small business. Thanks for taking our class. Post your creations. Again, don't forget to join us on Facebook at Scrapbooking Stuff Group. That's the name of the group. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit the like button if this uh, assembly tutorial was helpful for you. And the bell if you'd like our other tutorials as we update things on products we use in class, as well as tutorials for future classes. Thanks for supporting us. Have a great day.